guys, Brandon here with Exotic Cars 19. It's been a while since I made any kind of detailing or car washing video, so I figured we'd make one with the one I haven't done yet at all. This is the C63 AMG uh, Edition 1. Uh, so the angle I'm going to take this one at is uh, talk about washing matte or satin cars. I uh, haven't done that before, but the process isn't as different as you might expect. So for the most part, the setup is uh, not too different. So if you want to go over here, um, we're going to be doing, as always, a uh, two bucket method. One is just with water, one is with uh, whatever car washing soap. The most part is um, to stay away from is anything like that talks about high polish or, uh, or any kind of like gloss. Stay away from. For the most part, everything else stays the same. If you wash normal gloss cars correctly, you're pretty much well set. So if you haven't seen any other videos I do, pretty much I'm preparing for a very dirty car, almost like doing a touchless wash. And we'll do a foam cannon and all that kind of stuff to get rid of like the first layer of dirt. And that pretty much uh, reduces the chances of swirl marks, which is fine scratches you could get in the clear coat of a glossy paint. Uh, we're going to do the same precautions with this, even though it's matte, because with a glossy car, if you got the swirl marks, at least you could always buff that down. There's no buffing a matte car. If there's a scratch, it's a scratch and you have to repaint it. So that's kind of that. However, it is a lot harder to swirl um, a matte car. So it's a little easier to wash in a way, but at the same time, you take all the precautions you would anyway. So with that said, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wash it normally. So like I said, two bucket method, we got our uh, just Meguiar's car wash in there. You're gonna be using the MTM Hydro Foam Cannon. Already got some water, uh, majority water, and then like just a little bit of the soap there. This right here, I forgot the name of it, but that's gonna help us with our wheels. Um, this is gonna be our allocated dirtier mitt for like the wheels or anything that I'm just gonna do at the very end. That's my clean mitt we're gonna use for the panels. So we're gonna dry it like we would any other car. I like to be careful and pretty much the least amount of touching, the better because less chance for the swirl marks or in this case, scratching. So we're gonna be using a leaf blower, of course. Uh, not as necessary with this one because it is satin, but there is enough gloss yellow in there. Uh, so we're gonna do that, then bring a towel to it later. And then you can use, honestly, some uh, quick detail spray, like I said, as long as it is not uh, gloss uh, enhancing or whatever. So that's just a uh, detail spray that we could touch at the very end with the towel. Um, Iron X, that's gonna be for the wheels. All right, so I've said this before, I like my car's gas and my power wash is electric. It just keeps it simple for me. That's the only other thing that's changed. Um, I, I had an electric power washer before, but I got a new one. This is a Power Stroke. It's a 2200 PSI, whatever. Honestly, as long as it's a good working electric power washer, all the connections are the same. So I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to pretty much all the items I'm using here uh, as I do with all the other stuff. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and first things first, get this thing all thumbed up. All right, so we just finished up filming the car. So like I said, that's just gonna sit on all the dirt and kind of loosen that up. So when we hit it with just water on the next run and then the mitt, uh, it'll be a lot cleaner that way. So less scratches. Same concept for the wheels uh, with German cars, especially uh, the Mercedes. Uh, they get pretty dirty pretty quickly. You know, with these carbon ceramics, um, with the back rotors, uh, they get really, really dusty. So I'll play some B-roll on the condition it was with the bird crap, bugs and everything like that. We're just trying to loosen all of that. So yeah, same goes for the wheels. So I'm using uh, CarPro Iron X. And what that's gonna do is go on there like such. And then it kind of turns purple when it gets in contact with any kind of like iron or anything like that. So we'll do that. Try to get as much in every nook and cranny as we can. And then that, when we just address it with the power washer, you can kind of see right here how dirty that is. And then it comes off pretty clean. So that just makes our job easier later on. All right, so we've given the foam enough uh, time to soak in there. So it's kind of drying up a little bit. We don't want to have any dry spots. So we're going to hit it pretty soon. Uh, but I thought I'd show you this, especially on the back. Um, a lot of brake dust that was here. I could be wrong, but I think the fronts are carbon ceramics and the backs are the steel rotors. That might be why we're getting a lot more dust here. But you can see how it's just bleeding purple. That's all the, uh, the iron just bleeding off there um, on the AMG emblem here. So this is really dirty. So if I just bring a finger to it, you can see just how yellow that is. So now when we bring the power washer to it, uh, we're gonna go ahead and address uh, top to bottom on the car itself. Then we're gonna hit the wheels and that should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right, so pretty much at this point, the car is as clean as a touchless car wash will get. Uh, pretty much so the wheels and everything like that, we got a, as much grime and dirt and everything off. Uh, just looking at it, all the bird crap and stuff is gone. About 80% of the bug splatters up front. And a lot of the grime on the wheels, uh, that's gone as well. So we're dealing with a much cleaner car. So now when we bring a mitt to it, we got a lot less chance of scratches and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're gonna do now. So I have my bucket of water and then my bucket of water and soap, a clean mitt. And so what we're gonna do is just kind of go back and forth between the car, uh, dip this in here, uh, one side of the mitt on one panel, straight lines as you guys will see, and then flip the mitt over, do uh, the other panel, or uh, if it's a big panel, that same one, and then rinse it off with the water and then bring it back with some soap. So let's go ahead and start top to bottom with the roof here. So straight lines, you don't put any force down on this, you just kind of let gravity do it and you just walk it, but right here, here for a further reach, I'm gonna take my hand out of there. So you just kind of go halfway. All right, so now we're gonna get the other half. And so we use this side of the mitt, so now we're gonna flip it over and remember that as we do the other side. And so pretty much also depending on the conditions, right now we're doing this in the afternoon in the shade. Uh, if you're doing this, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're doing it in the sun, uh, that's gonna absorb really quickly and that's gonna give you water spots and that's just kind of a, a pain to remove. Um, so because we're doing it here, I'm actually gonna do more than just that panel. Usually it would just be that panel, wash it, then you know just have water on it. And you pretty much maintain the car just being wet the whole time. So again, with the two bucket method, let me go ahead and bring it in just the water and then just rinse that out. Pretty much pretend now that it's touched the car, it's filthy and you're now cleaning it and now you're putting it back. Just gotta tell yourself that. Um, so now with that done, I think I'm just gonna continue on, like I said, cause we're in the shade. So that's not gonna dry up from under me too quickly. So I think now we're just gonna start doing the pillars and just keep on going until I start seeing things dry up. So as you guys can see, I pretty much did all of this all on one side of the pad. So now I'm gonna flip that over. So it's now clean again. Let's go ahead and get the mirror. And I think with the rest of this pad, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the door. Again, top to bottom and then straight lines. And then wash, rinse, repeat, quite literally, and then do the other side. All right, so at this point, I've um, cleaned with the mitt about 80, 70, 80% of the car, and now I'm starting to see a couple little bit more dry streaking. So I'm gonna get the power washer. Uh, I don't know if I'm totally gonna rinse it off, but I'm just gonna get the car wet again, like I said, maintain it being wet. Uh, that way you don't get any dry spots and stuff like that. Might as well not deal with that later. So we're gonna go ahead and power this on. <laughs> And again, just kind of mist the whole car, keep the entire thing trying to soak as much as possible. All right, so at this point, all the panels of the car are clean. They're just all suds up and everything like that. So uh, we're gonna try to get all the suds and the soap and everything off that way uh, and of course maintain it being wet because right now it's clean. It's cured on there long enough So we're gonna do that and then get the wheels and exhaust and other little micro things like that at the very end But right now try to get all the soap off of this with the pressure washer So at this point now, I have switched over to a mitt that I've kind of allocated just for dirty parts of the car, like wheels and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm kind of unorthodox when it comes to wheels. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of get as much as I can with the mitt and I'm gonna bring the, uh, the brush in later. Try to just get suds kind of mixed in by hand where maybe the, uh, the brush can't go and then the brush can go where my hand cannot go. So pretty much just trying to get the wheel all full of suds and soap like such. Go ahead and get the barrel of the wheel starting from the top once again so you let all the dirt just kind of go down with gravity All right, so lastly, uh, the exhaust tips for any kind of car with any visible chrome or anything like that exhaust. Just like to get the hand mitt. I'm just gonna use that around and 
try to get as much off as possible. And then sometimes there's even like chrome specific like polishers or whatever that you could bring to these, but this usually is good enough. So now with the exhaust clean, the wheels clean, the entire car clean now, which is obviously wet. So uh, the process of drying is just as important as washing it. So you gotta make sure you're careful with that. Like I said, with this mat car, you don't really need to bring the leaf blower to it, but enough of it, it like the vinyl is gloss, um, to where I will, just for habit's sakes. as much effort as I want to put into uh, drying this thing with the leaf blower so for all like the other water spots and everything like that we're gonna go in with a normal towel and then any dry spots or any kind of things that I think we might have missed we could hit that with the detail spray so let's go ahead and do that all right so just tried the whole car with the towel uh, to be honest not a whole lot of spots or anything like that but if there were like I said any kind of like McGuire quick detailer as long as it's not like polish enhancing or shine enhancing because it is a satin car then you're good uh, so it's really not that complicated so right here let's just say I missed it this area a little bit Go ahead and with the microfiber towel, kind of straight lines yet again, and then the other side, and just wipe that down. And that's nice and slick and hydrophobic. So again, in summary, um, there's still a little bit to go with this car, but in short, you just take the right precautions because you don't want to scratch it because that means repaint with a car like this. However, you're not going to get swirl marks or anything like that or micro scratches as easy as you would with um, a gloss car. So it's easier to wash in that regard. You just have to, you know, take the right precautions. But that said, it's actually a little easier to wash a matte car, in my opinion, if you just remember those kind of things. But with that said, that's about all the differences with the matte car. But since you guys are here, let's go ahead and finish the job up. Let's go ahead and make the tire shine just a little bit more. Right, we could go ahead and paint our white walls on now. Uh, McGuire says you could go ahead and actually just throw that on there and not wipe it down and walk away from it. I will not do that. I'd rather kind of rub it in and make sure it doesn't bleed off into the wheel and stuff like that. Go ahead and put this in there. So as glossy and shiny as it looks now, you might like that look, you might not, but it's actually going to kind of dilute in a few minutes here. I just didn't want that kind of tan, dirty look. Uh, I think we could all agree that it's not a good look. But yeah, I think uh, for the most part, tire shine kind of gets a bad rap from um, dealerships overuse with them. They fling on everywhere on the car and it just looks really, really tacky. I don't like that either, um, but that's gonna be nice and healthy. It looks really, really glossy right now, but uh, check back in a couple minutes and it's gonna look a lot better. So we're just gonna hit all four with that. All right, so after a couple minutes, you guys can see, so that glossy tackiness is gone. You could do that and you're not getting any residue on your hands. But before I did that, it was like a really dirty tan look. So we didn't want that. Uh, so I like Meguiar's for that regard. Again, their usage recommends that you just throw it on there and walk away. I think if you throw it on there and right away wipe it down, you're going to get that look, and that's kind of what I'm after. Uh, up next is just glass cleaner. Nothing to it. I don't even think this is automotive specific. Just good old glass cleaner. If I can find the specific one, this one seems to work pretty darn well. Spray away, world's best cl uh, glass cleaner. Uh, streakless, or so they say. Uh, anything will streak if you put too much on there, so just remember that. And with this car in particular, it's not the end of the world to throw some glass cleaner on here because it's actually got a panoramic roof. So. Go ahead and put some on the other side, a little bit here, and that should come out nicely as well. It's kind of a happy medium because it looks gloss black, but it's actually glass, so you could use the quick detailer or you could use a glass cleaner. So, up to you. All right, guys, so that's about gonna do it for this video. Like I said, it's been quite a few months since I made a car washing video, so I haven't shown one with this one, and uh, I figured because it was matte, some of you guys might think that process is totally different. I sure did uh, initially. Uh, but really, it, in some ways, it's actually a little bit easier. So just be cognizant of a couple things, and you'll be well on your way to washing your mat or satin car. Uh, but that's about going to do it for this video. Um, it kind of reminds me, the C63 AMG Edition 1. I've only made a couple of videos with it, so probably should make more in the future. But that's going to do it for this video. I guess we could end up with the startup and a couple revs. See you guys on the next one.